from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Starting today, proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test is required before you step foot inside a restaurant, mall, theater, gym, or salon in the city of Los Angeles. Either you just stay at home and don't do anything, or you go get vaccinated. The border between the United States and Mexico reopens today for non-essential travel. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says in order to cross the border, travelers 18 and older must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and may be required to show proof of vaccination. The Dodgers have extended one-year qualifying offers to 14 players, including Corey Seager and Chris Taylor. But there's one big name missing from the list, multi Cy Young winning pitcher Clayton Kershaw. He's expected to undergo surgery for an arm injury, too. Southland weather from KFI, patchy fog and low clouds to start, and partly to mostly sunny skies later. Inland highs near 70, right about 60 of the beaches. Right now it's 56 in Anaheim, Lake Forest 54, Long Beach 59, and in downtown Los Angeles it's 57 degrees. We leave local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Phil Hewlett. In Silmar, there is a work zone. This is on the 210 eastbound from Oak Street all the way to McClay. Two right lanes are going to be toned off the road work until 5. In Boyle Heights, this is on the 5 southbound at Cesar Chavez. Little fender bender there. That's out of lanes and on the right shoulder. CHP's on the scene. Watch for some looky little delays as you approach. Ontario, there is a work zone. 10 eastbound from Archibald all the way to the 15. Three right lanes are going to be shut down for road work until 5. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Brian Vance. At Fit and Break, we know that people are experts at all kinds of things, except one, how to shop for the right mattress. Right, Dad? Shopping for a mattress isn't something you do every day, or even every eight years. That's why Fit and Break has mattress experts with an average of 10 years' experience, and bed match technology that scientifically recommends just the right mattress for you. So for expert advice, trust your sleep to Fit and Break. You know, Drew, I'm an expert at other things, like what? Screaming free! As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face masks to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children 5 and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. If you're thinking about refinancing uh, your mortgage, maybe you've already filed, maybe you already have refinanced in 2020, it's still more than worthwhile to contact HMS Capital. Mark Tice of HMS Capital recommends you apply with HMS Capital and then any other lender. HMS Capital is the only lender I know that actually encourages homeowners to apply with other lenders. He is that confident he can get you the best deal. And I've known Mark for over 16 years, and I've done two mortgages with him. No appraisal or application fees of any kind. Take the HMS Capital Challenge, apply with another mortgage company, and also apply with HMS Capital. The rates are the lowest they've ever been. Call 833-255-5698. That's 833-255-5698. Visit HMScapital.com. HMScapital.com. HMS Capital funding is a DBA for the entire team and a heavy number. 2407. HMS Capital is licensed under the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. License number 4130360. Equal housing under. KFI AM640. It's share and tell. Share and tell. I love it. Like, you know, like share with everybody. <laughs> I, I got it. How about share and no, tell you? The Tim Conway Jr. Show. Oh, that I like. Weeknights at 6 on KFI. KFI AM640. <laughs> And our next emerging artist, Stephen King from Spokane, Washington. The song is called Travelers. Enjoy.
818-501-4109. The first time caller line is 818-501-4721. To talk toll free from east of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From west of the Rockies, toll free, call 800-618-8255. To reach George via Skype, use Skype name George97313. Send George a text message anytime at 818-298-6521. This is Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie. We'll be back in a moment with final calls with Robert Green as we talk about his incredible works and uh, fascinating discussion. It really is. His latest book is called The Laws of Human Nature. Next hour, Life After Breath with Jacob Cooper. We'll be talking about his near-death experience, so make sure you're part of the program. If you're a Coast Insider, well, you know the great benefits you get from being one. If you're not, listen to these folks. This is Lisa. I'm a Coast Insider because I can't always stay up to listen to Coast to Coast Live. Being an insider lets me listen to it first thing in the morning and sometimes even when I'm at work. Hey, it's Mike from North Carolina, and I'm a Coast Insider, and if you're like me, you get a little sad each time the live show ends up night, but that's okay because I can listen to the show anytime, anywhere, right on my phone. I'm John from Grinding Beach, Oregon. I'm an insider. Living in a rural area, it gives me access to listen to any show. Any show, anytime, 15 cents a day. Just sign up by going to coasttocoastam.com. Right at the top it says Coast Insider, and there you are. Now here's something for you to kind of calm down. If you feel stressed, suffer from fatigue, moodier than usual, or would like to fall asleep easier and sleep more soundly while losing weight, do we have something for you. Accelerate and Elevate. I take Elevate Performance Supplement in the morning for energy and laser focus for work. Then before bed, I take Accelerate, weight management and sleep combo. And indeed, I now sleep soundly through the night. Plus, I'm losing weight. It's amazing. I've maybe gotten four to five hours of sleep max a night. I'm sleeping between six and seven. I wake up to use the bathroom, but I go right back to sleep, which has never happened before, which is pretty awesome. I noticed a higher level of happiness. I also noticed that I wasn't taking naps. I had more energy. I was more in the moment with my kids. Like, we were laughing more. We were more excited. Every single person needs to feel this. I lost 10 pounds and five and a half inches off my waist, and I'm so proud of myself. It gives you energy. It helps you sleep better. It just works. I stand by it 100%. I was on a handful of medications to help me sleep, to help me be happy, tons of therapy. When I'm ready to go to sleep, I'm getting seven to nine hours of sleep every night. I've lost some pounds, um, inches mainly. My family has me back. Try Accelerate and Elevate, discounted for listeners to the show. Plus, further discounts with the Georgia Power Pack, including a free gift. Learn more and order now at HealthyLooking.com. That's HealthyLooking.com or 800-394-9930. So jump on the path now to all-day energy, better focus, better sleep, and weight loss with Accelerate and Elevate at HealthyLooking.com. That's HealthyLooking.com or 800-394-9930. It's real. Birch Gold delivered gold and silver to my door, and now it's in my hands. I know you have a contingency plan for emergencies, right? You may have a generator, food supplies, a little cash, but what about a contingency for your currency? Inflation is edging their 30-year highs, and with trillions in proposed added government spending, it's looking to go higher. Protect your savings with something not tied to the U.S. dollar, gold and silver. Birch Gold has it, and they can get it directly to your door. When you text COAST to 989898 and purchase precious metals from Birch Gold by December 23rd, you get free silver for every $5,000 you buy. Birch Gold has an A-plus rating with the BBB and thousands of happy customers. Text COAST to 989898 for your free, no-obligation info kit on diversifying your savings into gold and silver and to claim your free silver with a purchase by December 23rd. Text COAST. The 98, 98, 98, and protect your savings today. Guys, waking up over and over to pee is not okay. But now, you can reduce those nighttime bathroom trips with the ingredients in Super Beta Prostate P3 Advanced. We're talking about less urges to pee at night, less bathroom trips during the day, and better bladder emptying. That's why Super Beta Prostate is the number one prostate supplement recommended by urologists. 
you can try a full 30-day bottle free. Just pay shipping and handling. No strings attached and no commitment to buy. This is a 30-day supply, absolutely free. Call 1-800-483-6019. Super Beta Prostate is the best-selling brand in major retailers like Walmart. But for this no strings attached free bottle, you must call now. Call 1-800-483-6019. Don't miss out on this unprecedented free offer. 1-800-483-6019. Welcome back. Robert Green with us. The Laws of Human Nature, and we'll take your calls as well. Final calls. Robert, what is it about the human nature where, for example, they will elect Joe Biden and then months later, his popularity plummets. I mean, why did people change their minds so quickly? Well, you know, sometimes you don't really know about a person until you elect them. Just like I mentioned before, you hire somebody. And believe me, I do consulting for people in business. And the number one complaint is they hired somebody that they thought was competent and great. And then six months down the road, they discover that they're lazy or ambitious and only out for themselves, etc. And the president is somebody we hire. And we often can't look underneath the hood and really know deep down inside who they are. Now, you know, Biden has a, has a history, and we kind of know that he's, he's older, and there's nothing wrong with being older. You know, I'm getting older myself, but older people tend to get a little set in their ways. They have a little harder time adjusting. And... So in the, in the first couple of months, you know, people, people were looking for someone who would kind of calm everything down. And, you know, we had a turbulent period under Trump, whether you loved him or hated him. And people were looking kind of for calmness. And then we're discovering that, you know, with things like Afghanistan, with things like inflation, with things like prices going up, that it's not as calm as we hoped. Yeah. And COVID-19 didn't help him either, did it? Well, it did initially, but, you know, I mean, some of the, the mandates, I guess, have been proving unpopular. But, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to judge a, a president. People, it, it, it's, a, it's a common theme in history where we think we've elected a person who's like this, and they end up being like some, something completely opposite from what we expected. It's, 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 it's common enough to, to say that, you know, it's going to be happening again in the future. And so we don't really know the character of the person that we're selecting to be our president. Let's go back to the calls. First time caller, Michael in Tallahassee, Florida. Hi, Michael. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so grateful to be on the show. I'll just get right to it. Sure. I'd like to cite two examples of how and why human beings have been so successful as far as warfare is concerned. Yeah. Uh, one is that how we defeated the Neanderthal. You see, I've done a lot of cultural anthropology in the past, and I've discovered that sign language is a very difficult language to lie in. You know, use all body language and so forth. And human beings, their greatest achievement was the lie. Yeah. They were able to draw these people in and ambush them by convincing them that they were safe. Uh, another example, um, the... There's a new conspiracy theory that the Ark of the Covenant was not actually a casket uh, tape on it, but a large wooden drum that was capable of producing a sound that sounded almost like thunder. It was used to keep the people of Moses moving through the desert in a certain direction. Well, when they got to Jericho, they got outside of the arrow and spear range and just started pounding the coop out of this drum for six days in a row, causing uh, sleep deprivation. Well, that's interesting too. I guess yeah. um, I guess where he's headed is strange things happen to manipulate the human mind, Robert. Well, you know they we, they call us the Machiavellian animal, the Machiavellian primate, and in fact, studies show that chimpanzees are probably also very Machiavellian. So, um, and they show that they're, they're good at kind of hiding things and deceiving and using facial expressions to kind of kind of put people off the scent, etc. So there's something about us and our ability to deceive that is very powerful, for better or for worse. And it's also one of the most common themes in the history of warfare. And the greatest strategist in the world 
including in World War II, which our success depended on a massive campaign of deception leading to, to Operation Overlord and D-Day. You know, in warfare, deception is absolutely essential. Um, as, as Winston Churchill said, truth is so precious that it must be guarded by a bodyguard of lies. Let's go to Mike in Denver, Colorado. Hey, Michael, go ahead. George, good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. And Robert, wow, thank you so much for this information this evening. This has been so helpful, so thank you. Um, and I just had a comment and a question. So, um, Robert, when we talk about developing traits, um, you know, I'm a younger person, I'm 25. And, you know, I think that, for example, self-confidence um, is something that, like, a lot of younger people struggle with. And, yeah. you know, like, I'm always so, like, in awe of George because he's always so confident under pressure on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, Robert, I wanted to ask you about for younger people. Um, you know, what advice would you give for people um, going through their 20s on developing these really important traits like self-confidence? And, you know, what were some things you learned about yourself in your earlier years, in your 20s, that you would kind of pass on to current generations? Well, that's a great question. I mean, I wrote a book sort of on that subject. It's my uh, fifth book called Mastery. And I say that you have to have a sense of what you were meant to, to accomplish in life, what your destiny is. You were born as a unique individual. Your DNA will never be repeated in the history of the universe and has never occurred before. There's something about you that makes you different, and that is your source of power in life. And so if you're able to fall into a career that you are that kind of connects to who you are, to what I call your primal inclinations, then developing confidence is not so difficult. But the thing is, I tell people that the key to having confidence is in your achievement, in what you can do in your skill level. So if you develop skills in something, and these skills are very real, and, and you develop them over the course of five or ten years, the proverbial 10,000 hours, it's very, very easy to feel confident. You have, some, you have a foundation you can rely upon. But if your confidence is not based on anything real, that's not really confidence, that's grandiosity. And the first time you experience any kind of failure or setback, that confidence will just kind of melt, it will dissolve at the first sort of obstacle. So to have real confidence, you have to build up some true level of skill and to have some accomplishments and some achievements in your life. And that doesn't come overnight. You have to be patient, but you have to understand that it comes through your work more than anything else, that, that confidence. And you asked about me personally. I have to be honest. I didn't have success in my life until I was about 38, 39 years old, and that's quite late when I got my first book out there. And up until then, I kind of wandered around at many, many different jobs, and I had a very up and down career. There would be moments of massive depression where I just felt, what am I doing? Where is my life heading? Headed, but deep down inside, I had this kind of bedrock faith where I couldn't sink lower, and that faith was, I knew I was meant to be a writer. I knew that I had developed skills. I had worked as a journalist. I worked in Hollywood. I knew how to write. I had discipline. And at some point, it's going to come together. And so that kind, of, that kind of saw me through all the darkest days that I passed through. So you're going to, the true confidence comes through your work, through your ability to, to kind of master certain skills, and to have something that you can always rely on. Like, if you're good at what you do, nobody can ever take that away from you. And I, I, I counsel people to develop those skills or that kind of confidence on a day-by-day -day basis. It doesn't come overnight. You need to do baby steps and need to be kind of figuring out what it was you were meant to accomplish in this world and having discipline and persistence in that. Let's go to Joe, Long Island, New York. Hey, Joseph, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Robert. You, you covered several topics, but I do have a couple of things I want to bring up. One was sure. on the psychology uh, one thing I notice is uh, people think they're sidestepping behavior when they're not completely doing that. Say, you know, I'm driving 90, someone goes past me 150, I think I'm uh, a cautious driver where I'm not. Uh, another example uh, with the psychologists, I think people see something.
something like the corporate thing, you know, which on a hierarchy, and then they globalize to think everything's on a hierarchy that they're trying to achieve, and it's not on a ladder necessarily. And then, uh, with you, you know, you mentioned people getting stale on social skills, but I think sometimes then you misjudge people. I remember walking with uh, kind of a model. She was walking to the subway, and she seemed a little stale, but I realized that she was sitting in her office. You know, she had just come from her office job and was sitting in a corner all day. And also, I wanted to just ask you what you thought about uh, Truman not allowing uh, MacArthur to, uh, to have his nine uh, nuclear bombs to bomb China. What do you think about that? Well, you know, I, I haven't really delved deeply into that subject, but I know that Truman and MacArthur had a lot of friction, yes. and that uh, MacArthur, you could love him or hate him, and he was a brilliant general, and his campaign in the Philippines is a model that people always return to. It was a brilliant. But he had a bit of megalomania. Um, he is what I would call a grandiose figure, and in Laws of Human Nature I discuss grandiosity. And what I mean by that is, sometimes success is the worst thing that can happen to a human being. You start overestimating your skill level. You don't realize the level of, of luck in your success. And so he was, he was a brilliant general, don't get me wrong, but he got a little bit in love with his own, with, you know, with his own... Um, it went to his head. It went to his head completely. And he was almost, almost a little bit imbalanced. And he showed that when he came back to the United States a little bit, and he had his brief run at becoming president, etc. As opposed to an Eisenhower, who I think is, is a much underrated president, and it was a brilliant general. And the story of Eisenhower is absolutely amazing, because... People were completely un always underestimating him. They thought he was boring, dull, not a very good strategist. Where in fact, he was a brilliant strategist. He was groomed by Marshall in the Defense Department. And Eisenhower had a very even keel, and he understood the role of success and the danger of that kind of megalomania, which even like a patent succumbed to, although Patton, I think... I gave Patton a lot of role, didn't he? Yes, he did, because Patton was an absolutely fantastic general. On a strategic level, he was probably superior to Eisenhower, and he recognized that, which was what was great about Eisenhower, is that he didn't have much of an ego, and he could recognize that some people were really good, and you had to manage their personalities and let them fight. But Patton was a bit in the MacArthur mold where he could get it to become a little bit dangerous. I always uh, told myself that in any business I was in, or anything I've done, surround yourself with the best people you can find. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, that's, that's the wisest thing. And, and that's what I tell the story in the, in the war, my war book about Marshall when he was given the realm of uh, the head of the Defense Department, which was absolutely in tatters. And Roosevelt recognized that a war was coming and that he could not fight this war with the Defense Department being such a mess. There were all these people who had had these, these positions for 20, 30 years, and they weren't doing anything. And Marshall came in and completely cleaned it up, and he did it by hiring all of the best people, his lieutenants, who would go out and do what he wanted, people like Eisenhower, people like Bradley. So hiring the best people, those, that's what really makes a great leader. Absolutely. Cornelius is with us in Louisiana. Hello there, Cornelius. Hey there, George and Robert. How y'all doing there? Hi, Cornelius. Look, um, George knows me and stuff, and Tommy. I ran into some racist stuff. I'm an African American, and I love the show and everything. And George, every time you get a good guest on, I heard him clip uh, Captain Austin Fitz. So I tell you every time but do you deal with anything with racism mr robert and i'll take my answer off the air god bless you george okay funny. Um, well uh you know i i talk in i have a lot of african-american characters in my books so i always try to make sure that my books are not just about white men and so um in in the uh and you've had a lot of musicians who are african-american uh read your books Yes, yes, I'm very popular in the hip-hop world, and I wrote a book with the rapper 50 Cent called The 50th Law, and um, I've worked with Drake before. Um, and so 
I had I tell the story, for example, of Frederick Douglass, whom I admire an awful lot, and his autobiography should be read by everybody in this country. He's one of our true icons. And then in my last book, The Laws of Human Nature, I go very deeply into the story of Martin Luther King. And I show King as a human being because a lot of the, the great figures in our history, they tend to become sort of these cartoon figures. And in fact, Martin Luther King was extremely human. He had weaknesses, and he understood them. And he was a very humble man in a way. And I, I, I love his story. I use it to demonstrate the importance of having a calling in life, of knowing of it, of having a sense of purpose. And he didn't have that sense of purpose as a young man, and then he discovered it late in life. So I don't address particularly racism, although um, my book, 48 Laws of Power, is extremely popular uh, among African-American readers. But it's kind of a sub theme because I talk about how you form real power in this world and you need to be strategic and not just be angry inventing yourself and getting in love with your words but how true change is, is accomplished in this world absolutely robert i want to thank you for being on the program the clock has got us but uh, love to get you back here's our final emerging artist vicky damonte from los angeles california the name of the song damage control listen in and have some fun don't forget to watch our tv show beyond belief with George Norrie. Just log on to beyondbelief.com. Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website.